What do you think of the Cougs? Well, they're always uh, always play us tough. Another Pac-12 opponent. Shocking that's a good baseball team. And, you know, they're a little over 500, and I think that's typical of Donnie's teams. They don't always get out of the gate very strong. That might be a little weather-related or what have you, but by the time conference rolls around, they, they're a force to be reckoned with. And, uh, they've been, you know, they're right in the same position we are, 7-5, and five, and I'm sure looking forward to another weekend. And, chipping away and seeing if they can maintain that contender status like like we are. So, uh, they're, they're, you know, here or there, it doesn't really matter. They're always pretty tough on us. It seems like they've built up a little bit of a reputation as being a pesky ball club. I mean, people don't really expect much of them, but when it comes time to play, they always cause some problems. Yeah, they do. Uh, you know, it isn't, uh, I'd say the character of their team isn't typically, uh, although, you know, guys like Taylor are just wore us out and, uh, Derek Jones had a brilliant career there, and now they got a guy named Tantalou that's a tough out in the middle of the order, one of the league's toughest outs, and Rosen's having a heck of a year. And up and down through their lineup, they have tough outs. They're, uh, they use the whole field. They're, they put the ball in play. And, and then they, uh, their pitching's kind of been by committee over the years where it isn't just a, a necessarily a pitcher of the year candidate, but every guy they run out there is very competitive, and their bullpen matches up pretty good and they have a lot of guys they like to go to and so uh, I know Pist uh, whatever whatever way the Friday guy pronounces his name Pistorosi or pits well against the Beavers and the Beavers are have a very formidable lineup so um, you know that got my attention and uh, regardless of what the names are uh, coach Marvin and his staff do a nice job and they're always very competitive so we'll have our hands full on this weekend and getting back in a conference and see if we can uh, start winning series and easier said than done, but we've got to obviously do better than we've done the last couple series. When you look back at those six non-conference games, are there areas where you feel like you guys took steps forward? Uh, well, we just didn't win the seventh, eighth, ninth, and beyond. Really, is something that's been a formula of our success against some of the best teams that uh, we'll, we'll win those one-run games. You look at the Stanford uh, extra inning game, the second game of the doubleheader. Uh, that could have got us a series win. Uh, first game against Stanford, we didn't field bunts very well and walk too many guys, and that made it difficult for us to win. And, and then, of course, the, uh, the Husky series, we won nothing loss. Uh, uh, Davis had a lot to do with us not scoring, but uh, we didn't produce enough runs in that one. And, and then we coughed up a lead in the 10th, which is a, a great job by them. And, it wasn't the excellence that we've been accustomed to at the back end of our bullpen, in this case, Jake Reed. And since then, Jake's got back on the horse and done very well. So our formula for success of winning games late went away in those four losses in conference. And uh, it, <clears throat> hopefully we'll find that, that magic back. And uh, that's kind of been the last two year, two and a half years. Our, our success has been able to, to win those games late.